Hi, this is Shelley Craft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We are here in San Francisco at the Biotech, MedTech, Life Sciences, and Healthcare Extravaganza all week long here in San Francisco, and this is 2013. On my far left is Dr. Mitchell Glass. On my near left is Dr. William Garner of Invion, Symbol. IVX on the Australian Stock Exchange. That's ASX, the symbol for the exchange. Well, doctors, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to be here. It's good to have you. Okay, let's get right into it. Who wants to speak first? Raise your hand. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Tell me about Invion. We are a pulmonary drug development company, broadly also in other inflammatory diseases like lupus. And we have two drugs in three phase two studies in the U.S. And Dr. Glass, who you'll meet, actually has five drugs approved in his career, which I think is very important for a company of our size. I've done a lot of interviews, if you could only imagine, and I don't hear the word lupus that much. Uh, how far along are you, and what is the nature of the drug? So the drug is an intravenous drug for treatment of lupus, active lupus. Um, it is ready for phase two trials here in the United States. We've just completed a very successful pre-IND meeting with the Food and Drug Administration. We're preparing uh, the IND and we are lining up investigators and patients to start clinical trials in lupus uh, in the United States th this quarter. Uh, lupus is still a terribly uh, important unmet medical need, particularly amongst young women who are fertile, who would like to be able to get pregnant. This is a disease um, of that age group, over 90% fit that age group, and uh, lupus needs to be uh, fully treated. Lupus is primarily a disease of blood vessels, so it affects every organ in the body causing early heart attacks, it can cause lesions in the brain, it can cause kidney disease or liver disease. And we're looking at a drug that by being given intravenously holds the promise based both upon its delivery and its mechanism of action of basically treating every area that lupus affects in a patient. How large a market is it, Dr. Garner? Well, I think conservatively it'd be a multi-hundred million dollar market and we try not sometimes we're a small company try not to talk about billion dollar opportunities but it does represent that uh, and our other programs several of them are significant markets and a couple of them are legitimately billion dollar uh, products as well billion dollar markets in the pulmonary medicine space as well share with the audience what you're talking about so our lead program is in smoking cessation, again, entering phase two. Uh, that's a couple billion dollar uh, market. Pfizer has a product that's come very close to a billion dollars. We think conservatively we could sell hundreds of millions of dollars uh, of that drug. Uh, there are other indications for that drug that are actually much larger. For example, in uh, chronic bronchitis, uh, in asthma, cystic fibrosis. So uh, we're a small company in very large markets, actually. I was just going to say, um what did you fellas do? Sit down and figure out what the largest markets are to attack and then come up with products based on that? Well, happily, what we actually did was look at the largest unmet medical needs. And by looking at the largest unmet medical needs, we, you realize that the markets effectively, no disrespect to Bill, will define themselves if you are providing a better drug for a patient population that has up until now been untreated chronic bronchitis, certain forms of asthma, patients who have chronic bronchitis and need to quit smoking, uh, patients who are preoperative and need to quit smoking, and as I said earlier, women with lupus all represent major untreated patient populations. So what is your background? I'm a physician, and I went to Wall Street 15 years ago. I have worked at Roche, so I've been doing this type of work uh, with several companies, and I can easily tell you this is the most compelling opportunity with the best colleagues I've ever been involved with. And you cut from the cloth, so you're good to go. What's your background? No surprise, I'm a pulmonary and critical care specialist by training and taught at the University of Pennsylvania Medical School before 25 years ago joining Pharma 
and leading both respiratory and cardiovascular and diabetes drug developments, both in very large pharmaceutical companies and then in earlier and startup companies. So before I ask you obvious question of your website, because I know we're going to get a lot of people who are going to want to know more about your company, how soon, I, the 70 million dollar question, the $64,000 question. How soon to market? You want to handle that? We're, we believe we're approximately three years from our first new drug application. So we actually have uh, important phase two data in, th in two programs reporting out in 2013 and some interim data in another one in 2013. So we're all focused on the D, the drug development, not the research. We're beyond that. Uh, Dr. Glass, would you add anything to that? Or? Uh, only that I think that the uh, endpoints that we're seeking in these trials are clinically significant, clinically relevant, and will really enable folks to make a serious decision that these are drugs with real promise in mitigating or modifying these diseases. You can't get anybody else to wish you more luck than I wish you because we've, you know, everybody in their lives has people who have been affected by many of the things that you're working on. So what is your website? It's invion, so I-N-V-I-O-N dot com dot A-U because we're in Australia. And is there anything you'd like to add? I just want to, I always like to throw that out just in case I missed anything. Anything? I would just say please remember that we have two drugs in three phase two programs. One of them is completely non-dilutively funded by the NIH. We announced that two days ago. Um, and we've got a lot of important milestones in 2013 throughout the year that we're very excited about. Thank you. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Mitchell Glass, Dr. Bill Garner, in Vion, do you mind if I call you Bill? No, that's perfect. Okay. That's <laughs> and the symbol is IVX. This is a publicly traded company on the Australian exchange, and we are at the Life Sciences, MedTech, Biotech, all kinds of things going on here in San Francisco, and this is the 2013 version of it. I want to thank you both for coming on to SNN Live. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you, Sean. And I want to wish you luck. Thank you. We appreciate you. You're welcome.